Good morning! Today's topic is going to be about some of the things that I plan and already have done. I've been saving for the last couple months now. The These were my, this is my contact cleaning solution. Um, all I did was, I didn't even do it very nicely. Um, I just used my scissors and just kind of cut around. So I have three of three of them the same size so these are all the same size I I kind of wanted to get into uh, uh, water coloring a little bit but I don't know yet but I figured oh and I have a third fourth one just it's just a Lysol you know it has the little things that you pull out and I cut the top off and I was going to use these three I was going to connect them all together either with um, hot glue or uh, some kind of a E6000 or something. Of course, I'll take all the la the stickers off of these because they won't glue very well with these on here. And besides, then I have can peel them up. But they're not very they're not even very you know clean cuts. I mean, as you can see, they're uh, very cut very unevenly. Um, I'm not going to win any awards for <laughs> a clean cut, although I will probably go in and, you know, since like, oh, oh that was easy to come off. I will probably go and, uh, I'm not sure, that's not really that hard of a, a line. It is kind of where, like, the little ends are like that, so I could probably just go in and cut it with my scissors a little finer, but like... Yeah, they, it doesn't hurt. So I might just leave it the way it is. And this one I figured could be for um, taller brushes or something. Um, but yeah, I was going to just connect them all together. That way I have all my paint things all in one area. And keeping with the paint theme, this one was a pill to cut. It's just a uh, cornstarch container, but it was square, and I was like, oh, I got, and yes, it's dirty. <laughs> um, all these products I have not washed yet. Um, I think even one of these had just a tiny, tiny amount of liquid still in it, but, eh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, this one I figured I would use as my little water bucket, because it was square, and I didn't know what else I was going to use. Like I said, I'll take the take the tags off or the you know the labeling then I have these um, uh, so I wasn't they're not you know they're not gonna be they're not gonna be usable for um, holding any type of liquid because it's got if anybody's ever used one of these before it's all it's got this little hole here that that allows the the get you know because when you when you use this stuff it bubbles and the bubbles have you know the when you put it in there you can hear it go tss, so it's obviously got a release valve or some type of thing on it so what I, I was gonna do was should just undid this before was try to think of something I could do with these three cuz they, they can stay flush with e with each other like that they can connect and, but I had no idea what to use them for. Although I could snap this whole part off right here and just keep this part right here, you know, this lid, the lid that actually screws into the jar. And maybe I could use them for a little beads or something, because, or something, you know, dry material. Um, that way, it's a nice, it's a nice thick container, this good plastic. Um, I just, like I said, for the last, you know, years, I've been just tossing them and throwing them away. So I figured, well, you know, I made that upcycle video. Why don't I try to figure out what to do with these? Oh, and then I have this container. Um, I was going to use it to make a container for one of my daughter's uh, Secret Santa gifts, but she already bought a, um, a cup because the her Secret Santa person wanted a gift from Starbucks, so we bought her a cup. And I can guarantee you that girl's not going to watch this channel, so it doesn't really matter if I spoiled it. But I didn't really spoil it anyway, so... Um, but yeah, uh, 
I'll have to figure out what what plastic or what what I can use on these. These will just be holding a cup or brushes or something anyway, or even or I could uh, stick them to the wall or something, and they can make. You know, I've seen people they'll use uh, um, PV PVC whatever it is the the white pipe that you use in plumbing or whatever. Um, you know, they stick them on the wall like this. Sorry, I can't do it while I'm holding. There we go. Like this, and then they stick their markers in it. Um, oh my goodness. I'm sweating, and I'm not doing anything. Yay. Um, but anyway, um, I could do this and make marker holders, and I, didn't want, I don't want to do it because I don't want to tip it over too much because there is a little bit. I see there's a little tiny bit of moisture in all of these. So, but... I thought about doing that too, or you know, hold you know, using them for markers too. Um, I haven't fully committed to the uh, watercoloring yet because I can't paint, so it would be a complete learning curve for me. But I'm a big believer in um, art is a thing that you can you can learn to get better at. Um, it's I don't know. It's it's like cooking. You you you're gonna you're bound to screw up, but you learn from those screw ups and do a you know do a better you know get better at it over time. So anyway, I just thought I'd show it. But if anybody has any idea on these, uh, give me a you know let me know if you have any idea on what to do with these. Okay, well I'm uh yeah all right. You have a good rest of your morning. Bye.